I went to it church is. and it was a DJ there, right? Which was really dope. I think that's really cool. Mm. But he was playing gospel and then he played some cut by Trillville. He just played the <laughs> beat. He played the beat. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what it is, hey? No, what's no, up? no. It, Where was no, we going? Man, Where, was we going? Where was we going? Where was we going? Where was we going? Where was we going? But you see, but you see what just happened right there. Really back here. We really it. It, it got made tricky. It. That, that's what I'm saying. It got tricky because I was like trying to say I never would have made it, but then it was like, what it is? Oh, oh, what's up? <laughs> so now I'm twerking in church. And that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy work. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy work. You know, I like choirs. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right, I'm too. big on choirs and the Do you miss town. do you I miss do. choirs? I do. Like, oh, but we got her, Sunday service. You perform with I Smith miss Sunday service. Why? But when you go to church, there are praise. It's like a I praise, like team. praise team. Yeah. I like praise But choirs. every church gotcha. is is adapting yeah. that style. Yeah. Yeah. And it is it can it can be it's frustrating for me because I miss it was old. community. That's crazy. I don't like crazy. I want to hear whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's like, funny? Let me I tell you what's funny. Like, alto, you sound like the OGs yeah. who be like, all this mumble rap. Uh, but no, no, no. I hate that hold on, no, but, yeah, hold on. <laughs> but let me tell you why I would have to humbly differ. Okay. Thank you. You have one of the most prolific artists at the time, Kanye. Yeah. When he wanted to start doing gospel music, he didn't use a praise team. Fact. He used the choir. He did. I think that choirs reflect yes. a sonic that oh. gives you an unapologetic gospel. Mm, That's what I think they're saying. So yeah, 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 yeah. And I do think that some of sometimes the European movement yeah. of, of worship you talking about has it. sometimes robbed us of that black experience. Yeah. It, yeah. It's robbed us of this. Yes. No, Kirk, you talking now. I ain't you talking mad now. And then they be having all that all that wordy stuff. I mean, we use I mean, they be up in there like oh, your presence man. is able to capture my glory and sky and the and the stars. I just want to hear He's able. He's, He's able. Yeah. Give me two words. I've seen that. <laughs> now you got to have a PowerPoint with paragraphs to yeah. sing these gospel songs. Oh, I, diamonds. I can you respect that. Diamonds. You get what I'm saying? I can respect that. I think it's kind of tough. To and, I, and I appreciate you at least noticing what's happening because oh, there is this much, transition that. that us old school, down yeah. south folks Why? really want to see. And, yeah. and it's hard to find. All right. So um, what do you think about that? Um, this is a conversation we've had a lot about you know for the, her, the first part of her conversation where it's like playing secular instrumentals yeah. and playing mm -hmm. like um you know even the critiques on line for line um when we used to do destinations and we would play you know the dj would play i wonder if they're talking about somebody we know but the dj would no, play i heard that blender before though what you're talking about yeah yeah the dj would play you know mainstream instrumentals during the show is it a distraction is it detrimental to the witness when Christians mix world with with God I think a lot of it can be subjective and where you are in your walk um what I what I start to see in the black church is that the music sometimes can be an entertainment piece to go into service and it's what you prefer what you like what you what used to resonate maybe when you were growing up yeah um what you kind of created your preference to be on the music you associate with your faith yeah and i think that we should be invited into all of it if you have your preference have the preference but don't knock the other styles of worship yeah. that people are using yeah. to honor the same God that you praise. Mm -hmm. So I pray I, I'm one of my praise team leaders at church. So I understand the tug between like the old school and mm -hmm. this new stuff, you know, the, the, the new Christian contemporary and how people might respond to it. And they might want songs that they want to listen to and hear all the time, you know, and, and I have to choose songs according to that, but I like to make sure it's a blend of songs that matter to me, to 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 my subjective view, songs that I can resonate with and be able to allow the Holy Spirit to use me to to minister that song.
and not old like I I think this is my dilemma. I'll say this, and me and my wife go back and forth all the time. This is my dilemma about this. As a DJ, sometimes I feel like our stuff is good. Like, why do we need their stuff? You know what I mean? Mm. And I think sometimes what the problem is, is people don't know the songs. And I, as a DJ in performing places, and you're mixing, and you're doing a live mix, and you, you're coming into songs, you're coming out of songs, whatever, you don't get the crowd. The crowd don't know the songs. They're going to look at you like, but if you put on, like she was talking about, people are going to be like, oh! It gets their attention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think, I don't know the answer to it. I, in my, my heart of hearts, the answer is to get a radio station in these, and, and get radio stations and to play the music so people can get used to the music. Um, because it can be a distraction, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Is it just that particular song is just so distracting because it's bed noises? It's no, I, I'm just thinking about anything. I mean, mm-hmm. if you, if you were. If you in your nineties, in the nineties growing up, you love Bad Boy. But let's say the Lord saved you and you decide like All right, I ain't listening to nothing else. I'm listening to gospel music. I'm listening I'm just listening to that. Mm-hmm. That's uh, if I put on if I'm 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 at a function, I'm DJing mm-hmm. and I blend, you know, um some Kirk with some some nineties bad boy stuff. It's all about the Benjamins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I blend revolution and Benjamins together. Mm-hmm. You gonna turn around and go, Oh snap. You know what I mean? Mm. That's the dilemma it, for some bring, people. Does it bring you back? Yeah, to some people bring it. Those instrumentals bring people back to that, well, that I time. Guess, I guess my question is, do people feel the same way if, like, let's say you blend it like, I'll stand You know what I mean? Like, I'll stand it, yeah. Like the older, older, like, it feels like um, as long as it's from my childhood, it's okay. So... I don't even think that. I think some mm. people, like we got people in the comments now like, yo, don't blend the secular, the secular with the sacred. You mm. know what I mean? <laughs> the secular with the sacred. Yeah, that's like a, they, a, that you don't, don't, don't blend that together. We, we're in church. Why are we mm. hearing in church? Why are we hearing, you know, Doodle Brown or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Why yeah, are we hearing Percolator little... <laughs> in church? Yeah, but I, you're mentioning things that are very sexual. Is, is it? Is it... Do people have the most problems? Those are the, the best BPMs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you Those are the best away. BPMs. You, you're giving it away. You're giving it <laughs> Those away. BPMs match very well with some stuff. <laughs> well, well, let me ask you guys a, a, a quick question that popped in my head, <laughs> and, and tell me your honest answers, and then I'll, I'll go for there. Yeah. What makes a song Christian or or faith based? Like, what makes it that? The lyrics. The lyrics yeah. The content. I'm, all right. Bam. Stop right there. So it's the message in the songs that make them what they are. Mm-hmm. So. It's unfortunate that some of these songs might get mixed and they have a sexual connotation. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's unfortunate. That's why I think, you know, you got to just be mindful. But there's no Christian sound outside of like gospel. I agree with that. Right? I agree with that. Because even CCM is like soft rock. Yeah, it is. In a sense. It's the Joshua Tree by you two. Exactly. Yeah. So gospel is something else too. Yeah. So, and and, and yeah, thanks for for correcting me for that. So, so there's no Christian sound, but it's just... important that you just be mindful of that message because that's what's going to really change or inspire or sow the seed and i'm talking from experience and in learning how to do that because if you listen to christian hip i mean christian hip-hop in itself you take the lyrics off and put some uh, some other lyrics there now it's secular yeah Mm -hmm. you change a few words up it could become something i think i think the problem is is that in the memory of the person listening to it, it doesn't matter what new lyrics you put on it. Mm-hmm. They remember the old lyrics yeah. immediately. So yeah. for them, it's like, So oh, it yeah. could be distracting to them if they're doing what she did and yeah. you're trying to get them to worship God, but yeah. they're hearing, you know, something sexual but or I have, something else. I have two problems with that, though. The first, I have one problem is you're right that your mind goes back to the original thing. My only problem with that is sometimes people would use that to to go against um, progression mm-hmm. of sounds yeah. of saying, "Oh, that's worldly." You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though you've created this beat in your in your to give God glory, you made a trap beat yeah. because mm-hmm. you heard a beat and you said the Lord gave you a song where it's talking about chanting, like chanting, like Jesus is mm-hmm. King, He's King, boom. Like, and you were yeah. doing it and you and the Lord gave you that song. Y'all make that. Yeah, with yeah. Jesus is king. 
<laughs> but you put, put a down. trap beat under it, kind of like a Todd Tribbett did, or like um, Mary Mary, a Mary Mary, or like uh, um, Brandon P. He got a, a trap worship album, mm -hmm. and it's like original music. It's not like you just saying like yeah. the I want to get the young kids in my church because they, they looking think at the this, style of yeah, music is evil. Yeah, because yeah. Ken Jones talked about that recently with mm -hmm. um with Wado, and then he even talked about us when we we, we went to um. We went to a dinner with him, and he was talking about how like like the hip hop generation is uh, ain't coming to church because they don't see themselves in the church yeah. or they don't hear themselves in the church. What? So it's like, how do you reach people? Because don't be blinded to your for for the people out there saying the sec secular and sacred. Because the problem I have with old girl is she's saying that, but she's still ratchet. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You're saying like you love traditional gospel. But you're still living a, a horrible lifestyle. I don't say about her. I don't but know. Who she is. I'm not. I'm not saying her. But I'm just saying people that's like her is like, yeah, I, I go to the club on Saturday, but then I'm yeah, being in church. That's the point I was going to make. A lot of a lot of this hand wringing is is more based on tradition than yes. it is <laughs> based on God. You know. Yeah. A lot of it is no gospel music should sound like this and this yeah. alone. When it's like no, it shouldn't. Like who cares? <laughs> but the reason the reason why some people get nervous, some of the older saints get yeah. nervous when you make the trap version of that gospel song is because yeah it's just the, the instruments are not evil yeah but the reason you made it like that was because you love music like that mm. and you got inspired by music like that so it makes me question why are you bringing that over here well if if, if i'm saying to y'all i'm in youth ministry and we're doing old school because let's be calm the the music that you like traditional is quartet mm, yeah, mm -hmm. it's based on something else. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. based on old yeah. school kind of blues yeah. type music. So you like that, but my kids is like, if y'all don't stop this old school crap, what do you? There's what? a there's a fallacy that gospel is inherently pure. A choir is inherently pure. No, it's it's just it's just a style. Yeah, it's a style. Mm -hmm. So and that style is based on things that used to happen before. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not wholly originally Christian. Yeah. Like yeah. it's yeah. borrowed from other styles. Yeah. So that that's wrong, right? But I think what, what I just said is what people are actually worried about is that's a signal to me that you listen to trap music and you're trying to bring your influence into our sacred space. It makes me nervous. No, but, but it makes people. It's, it's, yeah. but, they, but then even with that, it's like people can't be themselves or, or kind of like what they what they like. Right. Like because now I'm, I'm a Christian, do I not wear jeans anymore? Do I only wear slacks all the time? Like, no, like I, I used to like wearing jeans. Like God kind of allowed me to experience some things to kind of, you know, create my likes and dislikes and, mm. and styles. Like we, we get to choose the food we eat and things like that. It's really your diet, everything yeah, that's yeah. about you. So yeah. if you had a, a diet that was based in R&B and then God changed your life, but you still love R&B, there's a there's there's a way to still get that because that's your but that's what what you like. Think about how alarmed that is. I'm trying to shoot them some bail, right? Imagine <laughs> these are these are older people. They saw you grow up, yeah. yeah, right. They saw you grow up. You were in church. We brought you around. We taught you to you know this is what church is. Yeah, they saw you stray away from the church into a genre of music that was evil in their eyes. It was everybody in it was talking about evil things. Yeah, mm -hmm. you say you left that. But you're bringing your influence from that back to the church and trying to sell it back to us. The the hesitation is why are you why are you taking anything so, back? So, with so my you? question to them would be what do you, what do you want me to do? Come I'm back a, come I, back home and sing this bluesy gospel <laughs> like, like we taught you. And that and, and that church and that church may have not a lot of people in it. People mm -hmm. don't want to come to it. Mm -hmm. People and I'm not saying I'm I'm talking about do we care more about our traditions than a generation? Mm. That's the question we got to ask. Because if you care about a generation, then you got to say, okay, um, this generation loves Afrobeats. Mm -hmm. This generation loves Afrobeat style music. This generation loves, you know, pop music, EDM music. This gen they, what do they love that is appealing to them but so the we can is, reach them? Why is it appealing to, appealing mm -hmm. to them, Jeremiah? It's because they lusting. <laughs> they just lusty and they just want to gyrate. But no, it's not. It's just, it's, it's you. God is, uh, God 
gives everybody their own flavor of what they like. That's what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's not. Yeah. We're not all like. There, there's some black people that love pop music. I'm. Mm-hmm. I like pop, old school pop, rock some new music. rock country, music yeah. or yeah. country music or whatever. Doesn't mean that they're an evil person. It's just their be- their preference. And you know what I mean? And then, and then sometimes your preference is like, like if you come to church. It's like I have to be my total. I, I can't be myself in church because yeah. the the older saints are saying, "Sit down, boy, and listen to this." And it's like, yeah. "Mama, grandma, you don't like this, this? You don't like this, grandma? <laughs> I love Shirley Caesar, but this is blue, old school blues music. What are you and talking about? Not me. And you like it because your generation before yeah. you like blues, and, yeah. and they brought that into the yeah. church. Yeah. Like, so I, I I do, but I do respect the concern because mm-hmm. it is a little bit concerning if you see your child or somebody else's yeah. child go through this dark valley and then they brought souvenirs with them <laughs> you'd be like why'd you bring anything with you back Just yeah go think, back to the what you came from but i think my yeah. pro- my problem with this is this and this is why the christian hip-hop was always have those fights you know you had the g craig lewis which is funny now because he has rappers at his church but that's another story but then you had those different things that was blocking these things but people's lives were a mess Mm. You know what I mean? Like you, you would rather have people go traditional and not be free and live a life of like you know what I'm saying. I'm not, and I'm not saying everybody, but I'm just saying sometimes what I realize for us, the genres that we were representing of Christian hip hop or um, Christian R and B or whatever, the blocking is always young people with traditional mindsets. But then when mm-hmm. you go and see their posts and stuff, it's total opposite. It's like I know, it's like my I grew up in church, so I know the church thing. Mm-hmm. Live this. Yeah, you, code, you, you code switch yeah, for the com- sake of that yeah. community, and then when yeah. you're done, you go back to you being you yeah. in a sense. I think that if we could look at anything that was deemed secular or evil, and we are trying to change it for the good, I think that should be celebrated mm-hmm. for the mere fact that you took this beat that had this message and you're you're actually saying, you know what? We're gonna put never never would have made it on here yeah. because that's what we live in today. And guess what? You're gonna hear this beat and you're gonna feel this way, but guess what? Your message is going, we're gonna take you on another ride. Like think about even like merch, right? Like yeah. hoodies, hats, certain jeans, like Christian merch. Like some of those, some some of those pieces like they didn't originate in the church. Like yeah. that was from like hip hop culture or yeah. whatever our culture is secularly. But now we have the opportunity to say, you know, John three sixteen mm-hmm. or you know, mm-hmm. yeah. live your life different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which, so again, it's the I think it's just the messaging. Yeah, I, I but, would just say yeah. the the only caution to the thing that's screaming at me is what I notice is a lot of people who feel that way about music that's more recent, either what your kids listen to or music you had when you were younger. They don't have the same reaction to sexual healing and <laughs> Luther Vandross. You know what I mean? Like yeah. stuff that when they were a kid is yeah. like it's it's cool. Motown. Like you you go to church <laughs> functions and they'll they won't play like the stuff that we feel is evil now, but they'll play the stuff that was evil back then. Yeah. Like no problem. It yeah. was it's the same evil yeah. mindset. Yeah. It may be more obvious now. Yeah. But it's the same mm. stuff. intent, I guess. Yeah. 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 I think I think yeah, I think that's true because I mean if you think about like September, it's the meaning behind that is not good. Like, I remember one of the guys from Earth Wind and Fire was like, I don't know why people get that's their marriage song. Like <laughs> that song is horrible. He said it. <laughs> yeah. He wrote it. So I think that's one of those things where it's like, I think we're just biased to what you like. Everybody's biased to what. Yeah. So mm-hmm. so again, my 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 um my suggestion is always question your own biases. Like yeah. if you notice the 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 speck in somebody else's eye, mm-hmm. just know that there's probably a plank you're looking through. Yeah. Right. So I always, whenever I notice, like I don't like when so and so does that. Do I do that? Like I, <laughs> always, you know, just yeah. always just yeah. reflect back because you may be calling something evil, evil. Those people are evil, evil, yeah. and you got. You know, you watch Godfather every yeah. every Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying. You, I mean, there's stuff that you do is evil you, as well. You got Scarface Saturday, but but he, but but here here is here's the solution because that's always used as an excuse yeah, that that I'm gonna keep doing my dirt. You gonna keep doing your dirt? No, the solution is let's figure out. Let me clean up what I need to clean up. Yeah. You also clean up mm-hmm. what you need to clean up. Mm-hmm. Both of us should be getting closer to God, not yeah, just clean. using our yeah. own baggage as excuses. Yeah. Right. 
Like that, I don't like that. But, so I'm yeah. always listening. Like yeah. maybe she has a point. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. No, no. She she has a real point. I, she has a real heart point. And to be honest with you, she that that's a real thing. Like yo, you know, I I, I grew up in a church, and I and I don't want to hear, you know, trap, or I don't want to hear, um, um, Lil John and under worship music. I, I just that's not my thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, but my problem is don't say that. Yeah. But then you leave the church and you go with your friends and you and your friends yeah. turning up at brunch. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like a, that's that's compartmentalizing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would say don't exactly what Jeremiah said, but also don't use that as an excuse to where what I end up seeing is everybody's just like, well, what about this? What about this? Yeah. What about this? And everybody continues to live exactly the same. Yeah, you should be always striving to like I'm listening to you. I hear you. I'm going to evaluate that in my heart. Yeah. I'm not just dismissing everything you have to yeah. say. I'm not always assuming I'm the one that's right about this. Yeah. Take it in, absorb it, both sides. All right. Don't take my card, DJs. I, I, I still hear dope blends in there, but at the same time, I do feel like sometimes, I feel like Christian music is getting so good, in my personal opinion, this is just mm -hmm. Jeremiah speaking, mm -hmm. my personal opinion um, if you feel like you still need to blend and do your thing, that's you. I'm not. I'm not knocking you at all. I. I just always want to see what's next. That's how I see as a vision. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, what's next? What's next? What's next? So, but in my mind, I'm like, God, our music is so good. We don't need mm -hmm. stuff to talk about. You know what I mean? I mean, we don't need stuff to try to enhance to help it. it. Yeah. yeah, because you're you're basically tapping into an evil part of their heart to get their attention. Yeah. Then they're always going to be looking for that. Yeah, you know, yeah. If if that's what you got them with, that's the that's bait. what you're going to have to keep. Yeah, them with. and that's that's where it could get dangerous.